Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore how to visualize 3D mesh STL files using Python and BTK. This is a critical skill when working with medical imaging or 3D modeling data and it's easier than you might think. Let's get started. The first thing that we will do is to install the library. So to do that, you can go to your uh, terminal. And if you are already using a virtual environment or Conda environment, then you need to install it first. Then you go to the installation. Now, after activating your environment, you can just uh, like, let's say, do pip install VDK, which is the name of the library and press enter. For me, I will not do it again because I have it already installed in my PC. But whenever you like uh, you run the command pip install vtk, the library will be installed. OK, now after doing that, let's start by importing the library. So to import the library, you can do, do import vtk the same as we import any other libraries. Now I want to put my code in uh, inside the function. So let's call it the main or the visualization or whatever you want. OK, so now here is the function that we have. The first thing that you need to do is to import or to create the reader, because before visualizing any image, you need to read it. So VTK works with multiple readers. There is STL reader, NFT reader, like multiple types for each file or for each file format. There is a type of uh, readers. So for now, let's create, let's import the STL reader. So we have reader equal to VTK dot vtk stl reader okay so now we have uh, created our reader then after doing this we need to read the file so for me i have for example reader dot set file name and here we put the path to the file for now I, I don't have a file let me just pause the video just for one second when i when i will just copy the file inside this folder and can we can we we can complete our video now i have uh, copied the video uh, a file sorry here which is an sdl file now let me just give the path to this file okay so to give the path to this file you just need to give for example we don't have any folder so we have output file dot stl okay now let's just uh, try running this code this code will do nothing just reading the stl file but just to see if our code doesn't have any errors we can start by running it as it is and then we add the other lines of code so we have if name equal to main then we call the function main okay let me run it okay now you see that there is no problem meaning that we are good as uh, so far okay so the next thing that we need to do is to create a mapper so the mapper is going to take the data from our reader and translate it into something our actor can use we'll talk about the actor after okay so now let's create the mapper mapper equal to vtk dot vtk poly data mapper you see now wh when we are using like whenever we use vtk for our projects it always help us to complete our code but now as you can see vtk is not helping so you need to write the function by yourself for this reason you may like have a typo error or something like this so i prefer always to rerun the code each time so that if i did any typo i can find that like whenever I do it, because if you write the whole code, maybe sometimes it can be, it can be easier for you to debug your code. But if you run it in each step, let's say, I'm not saying in each line of code, but in each step, at least this, uh, in this case, it will be easier for you to debug your code. Okay. Now, after doing this, let's set the, uh, the input. So we have mapper dot set input connection. Okay, and now we give the reader that gets output port. Okay, now let's rerun the code again and see if we don't have any typo error. Okay, it is working so far. Now let's do the second thing or the next thing, which is creating the actor. So the actor is what actually gets displayed on the screen. 
So we will create an actor and set our mapper because when we want to uh, show something, we we have to we need to have a 3D mesh or something. So the actor is this thing that we will show or that's the thing that we will display in our screen. So we need to create it and then we go to visualizing uh, this actor. Okay, so to create the actor, we have actor equal VTK dot VTK actor. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is to set the mapper. So we have actor dot set mapper and here we give the mapper. Okay, let's run the code again. We don't have any typo errors. Great, great so far. So what we need to do now, we need to display the actor. So we need a renderer and render window and an interactor. These forms, like this form, the basic of our visual interface because we need to have the uh, interface or the viewer where we put our actor and after that we can interact with it. So we can zoom in, zoom out, like move to right, move to left, let's say do rotation in 360 degrees, we can do anything. So we need to create the renderer and the renderer window. So to create the renderer, so we have renderer equal to VTK, not VTK, that renderer, okay? Now the next thing which is render window, Okay, equal to VTK dot VTK render window. Okay, now after this, we need to add the renderer. So we need to add the renderer to the render window. So we have render window dot add renderer and we add the renderer like this. Okay, we, we add the renderer into the render window. And after that, what we need to do is to, let me just add the interactor. So we have render window and interactor equal to VTK dot VTK render window and interactor okay now after creating the vtk uh, render window interactor we need to set it or set the render window with the render window that we have so we need to do render window interactor dot set render window and we add the render window okay now you can add our like we can add our actor to the scene Let's also set the background color for the render window. So now we can add the uh, the actor or the, yeah the actor that we created to our window or to our rendered window, and also we can customize our the background so we can give any color we want. So if for example you have a green shape, preferably you give like a white background or something. But all these things are customizable, so you can customize whatever you want. I will take, for example, a white background, but you can take any background you want. Okay, so we have render, render, dot, add actor. So we add the actor to our render, and here we have the actor, okay? Now, after this, we can set the uh, background color, so we have render, that set background color so the values that will be given here are like between zero and one so for example if i want to give uh, the white background so we have one 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 what does it mean which is 255 divided by 255 so wh whenever you have rgb values if for, for the color that you want to use for the background you just divide these values by 255 and you get the values here so for now, since we have the white color is 255, and when we divide 255 by 255, we have 111, which are the values of the background. Okay, let's try running the code and see if it is working with no error. I think I did, yeah, I think I added here uppercase. As, as you can see, I didn't run the code when I did these changes, so like fortunately we, we we can't see the error where it is but in like a bigger code maybe you cannot let me have no i'll just set background color i am uh, maybe mistaking yeah sorry there is no color set background just like this sorry about that 
So now let me just run it. No problems with these. What we can do? Maybe I yeah I need I need to start the render. So to do that, let me just do render window. Okay, that render. Now everything is working. We need to start our render so that we can see and interact with our uh, window. So we have render window interactor dot start. Okay, now it should start. Okay, this we can like uh, bigger the uh, the window, and now we can interact with our image. And you can see that it is working, and we can do zoom in, zoom out. We can move it to the right, to the left, something like this. We can rotate it, and yeah, this is how it works. Okay, so yeah, if you want to do 3D visualization for your uh, 3D mesh STLs using Python, you can do that. Okay, so it can it can be for any type of STL files. You can always test them using VTK, and since VTK is able to read the file, then it will be easier to visualize it using Python. By the way, if you are interested in diving deeper into medical imaging, I have created a comprehensive Udemy course that covers everything you need to know. It is designed for all levels, so whether you are a beginner or an expert, you will find a plenty of value in it. Check out the link in the description below. I hope you have found this video helpful. Remember, the same concept can be applied to visualize nifty files for volumes and for segmentations. However, the code would need to be slightly adapted. If you are interested in doing that, I have got good news for you. I have made the code for Nifty Visualization available in my exclusive PyCAD Premium GitHub repository. This repository is packed with unique, high-quality content that you can access for a lifetime. You can find the link in the description below. Lastly, if you want to stay up to date with my latest tutorials, tips and tricks in computer vision and medical imaging, make sure to join my newsletter at spycat.co slash join us. I am looking forward to having you in our community. Thanks for watching and as always, happy coding.